Now, I remember when I came to Federal Hill in 1991, uh, we came to the 8x10, still a really awesome live music place, yep. to see the Almighty Senators. And my world just blew up. I remember meeting so many cool people in that music scene and in and around Federal Hill. I just really fell in love. And uh, it's one of the number one things I like about Federal Hill. What about you? I mean, I've been in this neighborhood now two years. And I think the one thing I really love about it is the aspect of the community because of the people. You know, I know all of my neighbors. You know, they're all great people. If I need something, they help out. We hang out in our back patios, you know, do barbecues, things like that. Um, it's a great community just to, to meet people. And it seems overwhelming at first living in any city would be, but everybody here is so welcoming and really friendly and, you know, will really just kind of stop anything and, you know, make you feel at home, which is great. Yeah, that's awesome. So hi there, I'm Ron, this is Nick. This is Moving to Maryland, where we focus on some of the really cool neighborhoods in Baltimore City. And today we're gonna to talk about Federal Hill and the 10 things you should know before moving to Federal Hill in Baltimore City. So Federal Hill is just like every other, you know, neighborhood in Baltimore City. Now, kids were in the city before 2008, but uh -huh. that financial collapse really made a lot of people stay in the city where, where they might uh, normally moved out to the county. Yeah. We see that so much. Um, what I saw from 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, were the schools getting better? Were the parks getting better? Were uh, more parent involvement? And uh, it's pretty amazing when people talk about, you know, Federal Hill schools or, you know, even Baltimore City schools. I'm like, you want to take a look at that research. It's, you know, it's, yeah. it's changed. It has. And this neighborhood always kind of had the reputation of being the young people's neighborhood. You know, you move from college right down here because, you know, the location. But what you're seeing now is a lot of people are living here and staying here or even actually moving here with young families with children because you have great places like where we are now, Federal Hill Park that has playgrounds and walking trails and really great elementary schools in the neighborhood that are all within walking distance. And I think the convenience and the laid back city life in this neighborhood is really making it attractive for parents with kids and young families. Yeah, so that's the number two thing you should know about moving to Federal Hill. Yeah. It's great for kids. So I've been in Canton since 1995, and you live in Canton for a little bit, mm -hmm. and I love the walkability over there on the other side of the harbor, and um, was walkability any reason why you moved back here to Federal Hill? Yeah, it really was. I love the ability just to kind of walk anywhere and not have to drive. I mean, I'm a big sports guy, you know, born and raised in the area, so being a 10-minute walk from here to Oriole Park and M&T Bank Stadium to catch games is, is huge. I can walk to grocery stores, there's parks and restaurants and bars, all that are super close within walking distance of my house, and, um, and it's really nice that you don't have to drive anywhere. Yeah, yeah. So that's number three. Walkability is awesome here in Federal Hill. So anybody that lives in the Harbor neighborhoods like Federal Hill come down here? I mean, obviously for the walkability, but we're walking to restaurants and bars that we like, and uh, that changes over time, right? Like what brought me down here initially uh, doesn't interest me now as I'm 53. So you're younger. Yep. You're in Federal Hill. Mm -hmm. You love the walkability. I do. Where are you walking to? Oh, there's so many great bars and restaurants around here. I mean, just to name a few, Outpost is awesome, great for a date night or happy hour. Di Pasquale is a classic Italian deli, great sandwiches. You have Cross Street Market for options. You know, for the younger crowd who likes to go out, you have places like McGurk's, Wayward, um, all on Cross Street and Charles Street. If you venture out a little bit, you have places like Barflies, um, Wiley Gunther's. There's tons of options and just stumble in somewhere and you're bound to find something you like. So what did you love uh, two years ago when you first started coming down here? What did you go to a lot? Places like Bandito's, Wayward, you know, where a lot of the younger crowd hangs out. You know, there's parties every weekend and fun specials to drink every, you know, weeknight for the younger crowds. So that's the number four thing we want to know about the bars and restaurants is really what, when we talk about walkability, what you're walking to. Yep. A lot of us find Baltimore City with the nightlife, right? Mm -hmm. I know I lived out in the county. We'd come down here. Uh, there was a place called Bohagers we loved over in Fells Point. Um, you're younger. I know you know you live in Federal Hill. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the key things that, that is important to a lot of people, whether you're young or old. Mm -hmm. So if you think about nightlife in Federal Hill, give me 
a couple of the places you think are really fantastic to check out? Sure. So you have, you know, Palm, which is a live music every night, and at 8x10 they have concerts all the time. You know, for the younger crowd, you have places like Wayward, they do Flip Night on Thursdays. Um, you know, Banditos and 101, shout out to my bartender friends over there. Um, always do great specials every weekend. You know, you can't stumble into a bar without finding a good time down here. And that's one of the places that, you know, um, really attracted me about moving to Federal Hill. Yeah, that's awesome. Number five, the nightlife in Federal Hill. Yep. Number six is the waterfront in the marinas. There is a waterfront that goes all around Federal Hill. Mm -hmm. Got a bunch of marinas. You got the promenade. Yep. Uh, I think it's, you know, the water orientation for me is real important. If I was going to live anywhere in the city, I need to be around the water. Yeah. What about you? I agree. I mean, I, you know, grew up wanting to be around the water and it's nice that I'm living in the city and near the water at the same time, you know. I don't have a boat, one day I will, but there's tons of marinas to park your boat and it's super walkable and super accessible for anybody to just walk from literally here all the way over Canton um, and to the Inner Harbor um, and to just kind of look at sunsets over the water and sunrises over the water is just, you know, really picturesque. Yeah. Number six is the waterfront and marinas in Federal Hill. So number seven, of things you need to know is our secret spot. Now this place is fun whether you're young or old, have kids, whatever the case. I think Nick got married there. I did not, a friend did. <laughs> still single, ladies. Oh, he, yeah, he's still single. So um, you gotta check this place out. It's, uh, it's really, we've actually been to amazing uh, Halloween parties here and it is a really cool place. Yeah, it's really, really fun for any age you can you know, get your hands into anything and everything there. And I second the Halloween party stuff. It's the best Halloween party in Baltimore. Federal Hill has some amazing parks. I mean, this park is amazing. Mm -hmm. It is by far the best view as you can see from one side of the city to the next. Yep. It is phenomenal. So what are some of your other favorite parks here in Federal Hill? Well, Federal Hill Park is great you, just because of the view, but they do a lot of really cool things. The playgrounds, yeah. The playgrounds. Um, the Visionary Art Museum next door does movies on the hill Thursday nights. You can sit, bring a cooler, bring a blanket, and watch movies during the summertime. Okay, that's awesome. Um, Rashfield across the street, they have a skate park, beach volleyball, uh, great walking trails. You Riverside. Have Riverside. Riverside Park, which is right where I live. Uh, they do Sunday night. Um, concerts in the gazebo. They have a makeshift dog park where I bring my dog and a lot of my friends bring their dogs to play and run around. There's baseball fields down there, basketball pickleball, course. basketball, um, and they're all within walking distance of each other. From here to Federal Hill Park to Riverside is a 10 minute walk at most. Now, Rash Field, which is right below us, mm -hmm. um, they just redid that whole park. They put did. Put the skate park in. Yep, put it's a skate park in, an awesome brand new playground. Um, and they're going to be redoing the next portion of it soon, so it's going to look even better in the next year. Yeah, now with a two-year-old, you know, we really love, like, I'm looking at this playground. I'm like, God, we got to bring him over here. Yeah, I kind of want to swing right now. <laughs> well, hey, you know, some people love swinging. It's true. What's really cool about Federal Hill is there is just such a range of housing available. Mm -hmm. You have, um, you know, smaller uh, renovated homes that were, you know, renovated back in the 90s that mm -hmm. are more affordable. You have uh, very expensive Ritz-Carlton waterfront uh, condominiums. You have uh, waterfront townhomes. You have uh, more affordable waterfront condos in Harbor View. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a really nice range of uh, waterfront, water view. And then, you know, off the water, there's just so much to choose from new renovations, old renovations, places that need renovation. Yep. I mean, whatever you're looking for, this neighborhood has it. You know, if you want to live in a luxurious high rise, there's places for that. If you want to live in a condominium that's right by the water that all your amenities are taken care of, it's that. If you're like me and you want something a little bit more historic, you know, you live on one of these streets and these townhomes um, that have been here since 1900. And the nice part about this neighborhood is no two blocks are alike. You have these quaint two stories, you have larger three stories. There's a lot of new construction coming in as well in the neighborhood. So whatever you're looking for, there's a house for you. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So that's number nine is the diversity in housing. Uh, you have a lot to choose from.
So the number 10 thing we think you need to know about Federal Hill, well, you know, actually, Nick, why don't you go ahead and tell us. I think it's the accessibility, especially being close to like all the highways. You know, 295, 95 are all really, really close. You can get on there in five to 10 minutes. Um, it's 15 minutes to the airport. So if you're needing to travel or if you work south or west of the city, it's great because you have to avoid the tunnel. Um, even working north, you go up right 83, you know, you just go around the Inner Harbor and you're right there. It's, you know, for people who work outside of the city but want to live in the city, it's super easy to get in and out. Yeah, it's just outside of the hustle bustle. It's one mm -hmm. of these nice waterfront neighborhoods. You can look at like downtown, but you're not stuck in all that traffic. Nope. So if you're interested in learning more about Federal Hill, you want to tour the neighborhood, learn more a little bit about it, reach out to us. Our contact information is in this post. We'd love to help you out.